Good morning, everyone. Today is butcher day. No, I'm not gonna butcher all of my birds, but we are going to butcher all the extra turkeys, which will be the gray one there. He has gotten a lot bigger than what we wanted. And these two smaller black ones, that one there and that one there. So we've got that one, that one, and that one. We're also going to be butchering our quail. We have uh, weighed them all out and kept the heaviest quail for breeding. And we separated all the ones that we're not keeping for breeding. And we're gonna butcher those today along with the turkeys. So first thing we need to do is catch them. Eddie went to the store to get some ice so that once we get them butchered and gutted, we can put them in some ice water to cool. So I'm going to try to catch these guys and I bet it's not going to be easy. And there's two. Oh, uh, smacked me right in the face with his foot. Oh. He got me right on the lip with his foot. Oh. He's much bigger than we had wanted. Okay, one more. Tall and skinny. Gotcha. Oh, 
He's not going to have a whole lot of meat on him. He's pretty skinny. But we don't need a lot of meat for just the four of us. So. Oh. That's a workout. Okay, I'm out of breath. I'm old. Definitely out of shape. I think I hurt my back a little bit chasing him around, but you got to do what you got to do. Now, I'm going to leave them here until Eddie gets back and he can bring them out to the killing cones. I'm not going to try to lift them. Now, the quail will be so much easier to catch because they're already in a cage. So, let's go get them together and then we're just waiting on our scald water to heat up and for Eddie to get back with the ice. All right, we're in the quail house and these are all the quail that we will be butchering today. Uh, so they'll be easy to grab. We're just gonna grab those and throw them in this cage here and that'll make it easier for Eddie when he goes to dispatch them. The flies in here are horrible. I clean these poop trays every single day. I did not do it this morning just because we had to go deliver eggs to our neighbors and I didn't get to it. But normally I clean the poop trays every single day and this place is just full of flies. So if anybody knows a good way to deter flies, I'd love to hear it. Other than that, we're just waiting for winter to hopefully they'll all die off. We'll get the door on here, get the battens on and try to seal up the holes so that hopefully the flies won't get in here, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, you can hear all the quail crowing. Let's get them moved into the cage. Okay, um, oh, those are heavy. Okay, I don't know how many's here. I wasn't counting. There's a few of them that have some pretty bald heads. There's one with a bloody head. It was definitely time for butchering. So this is our first. Um, this is our first batch of quail to be butchered. So once we get these butchered and in the freezer, I will probably start to incubate some more eggs so that in eight to 10 weeks, 12 weeks, we'll have some more to butcher. All right, we got this water boiling. It is boiling. This is gonna be our scald water. That one's not boiling yet. Now, you don't want your water boiling when you scald them in it, but the turkeys are gonna be too big to scald in the pot. So I brought that water up to a boil. We're gonna pour it into a trash can and add some cold water so that it's enough water to get the turkeys all the way down into it and then we have this plucker that we purchased and i'm sure you guys have seen it in one of my other videos and i don't know if the plucker is going to work on the turkeys or the quail but i figured i'd give it a try 
This plucker was made for chickens and we do use it for chickens when we butcher those. Two of the turkeys are kind of small. I think if we take the legs off before we put them in here, they should fit. The one gray large turkey, I don't know if he's gonna fit or not. He may be way too big, but we're gonna give it a try. And this is not made for quail because it's way too big for quail. But I've always been curious as to whether or not it would work on the quail. So we're gonna try that too. And that way, anybody that's curious of whether or not a chicken sized plucker will work on quail, you will have the answer because I will have the answer. So we're gonna do that and we'll see how it works out. All right, this is what we're scalding the turkeys in. And we want the water to be 150 degrees. So we are at... Looks like 140 degrees. So it's not quite hot enough. So I'm going to add some more boiling water to that. I'm going to add some more boiling water to that. Bring the water level up a little bit and heat it up to 150. We've got our table set up here. Now the quail are super easy to take care of, butcher. Got to be careful what you say on YouTube nowadays. We can't show anything that's gory. Um, we're showing this for food preparation. Uh, but Eddie will just take the heads off of the quail. Then we will scald them, pluck them. They're, they're super easy. Um, whereas the turkeys, they're a lot bigger, a lot more to pluck, a lot more innards to remove. We're going to do the turkeys first, get those out of the way since they're so big. And they will also take a lot longer to cool in our ice water. Okay. So we're ready to put the first bird into the plucker. We're starting with the largest bird, the largest turkey. We're gonna go in order from largest to smallest. Now this turkey probably weighs between 15 and 20 pounds. So we're gonna put him into the plucker and see if it will do anything at all to this bird. All right, big turkey going in. So how did it do? He got stuck down in the bottom there. I, it did a really good job. We got some wing feathers we got to pull out, but that's about it. All right, so it looks pretty clean. Like I said, we've got some, we got some wing feathers here that didn't come out. Uh, but other than that, the plucker did pretty good. And like I said, this is this turkey's probably between 15 and 20 pounds so as long as your turkey doesn't get too much bigger I think this plucker would work for turkeys all right let me clean him up and we'll do one of the smaller turkeys and see how it does on that one now if I didn't mention it before we got this plucker from Murray McMurray hatchery we had looked online and we had a really hard time finding one from a company that we trusted and I have been buying from Murray McMurray Hatchery for about 30 years now so I do trust them as a company they don't make this I don't know where it comes from but that's where we got it from was Murray McMurray okay now we're gonna put in the next turkey these are the smaller turkeys so I'm assuming it's gonna do just as well as it did on the bigger one so let's try it Hot. He got stuck. Just the other off the leg. Yeah. 
All right, let's see how we did on this one. On the next one, oh, I got water all over the camera. Hang on. So on the next one, we're going to cut the legs off and see if that makes a difference. They're about the size of a chicken, a largest chicken, kind of skinny though, not much meat on them. Now, again, it looks pretty good. Got some wing feathers still on there. But other than that, all the feathers are gone. So let me clean this one up. Once I get this one cleaned up, we're going to do the last turkey. And on that one, we will take the legs off before we put them in the plucker and see if that helps any. All right, guys, it has started raining on us. So we've got the last turkey here to go into the plucker. And I did take the legs off. So maybe this time it won't get stuck. Now these are pretty small turkeys. I think I was wrong on the weight. The first one was probably maybe 10 pounds. And then these smaller ones are probably about five pounds. All right, let's get this one in and see how it does. Okay, this one left feathers on the back but I probably didn't scald it long enough because I am getting poured on right now so let me get this one taken care of and then we'll be back so sometimes when you try to make a video mother nature doesn't want to cooperate <laughs> so we both stood out here and got soaked on that last turkey it was a downpour and as I was trying to say I don't know if you understood me through all the rain I don't think the last one plucked as well because I was trying to rush the scalding because it was starting to rain. And so I don't think, I think that's why it didn't pluck as well in the plucker, but it didn't get stuck going around. So maybe taking the legs off does help. But either way, all three turkeys did fit in this chicken plucker. And next up, we're going to try some quail. Now we're 99.9% .9 sure it's not going to work on quail, but why not try it and find out? So that's coming up right now. We're going to try some quail. Okay, we're going to try to put five quail in here. Like I said, I really don't think it's going to work, but if I don't try it, the question will always be in my mind. I wonder if it would work on quail. So we're going to turn it on before we put the quail in. It is the bottom of this that moves. So we're going to turn it on first and then put the quail in and maybe they'll bounce around enough to pluck them. I don't know. Let's see. Well, uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> They kind of, uh, nope. It kind of tore them up yeah, a bit. Beat them up. So that's not, I mean, it would work if you're going to skin them, but we don't plan on skinning them. So it rips the skin off. I mean, it, it took the feathers off too, but it took the skin off. So, so the chicken plucker for quail is a no-go. Well, there we have it guys. We have 60 quail and three turkeys. This took way longer than I thought it would. It's now seven o'clock at night. We just finished. They've all been cooled in some ice water and we're going to bag them up and put them in a the freezer. But the chicken plucker that we got from Murray McMurray, it worked really good on the turkeys. Do not try it with quail, it does not work. It really broke them up and tore them apart. So that's our review of the chicken plucker. <laughs> but now we have a bunch of meat for the freezer. So I'm happy about that. I'm also happy that y'all stuck around with us and we will see you on the next one.